KPM. Dede TV KPM. Hmm, what a lovely picture there. Hmm, looks very good. Almost looks like a celebrity. I wonder who it is. Hmm. Hello there. Oh, hi, Tichi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Not too bad. Thank you. Oh, I'm what just you admiring at? this picture, actually. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Who do you think that person is? Oh, I'm not quite sure. I can't really tell. That's Tichi. me, actually. That's you? Yes. Wow. Oh, I'm so sorry. I could almost recognize you. I wow. couldn't. That's simply because nowadays with technology, you mm -hmm. can do almost anything with a simple picture, but this is how I look like in reality. Oh, so this yes. was used through technology? Yep. Oh. Can you believe in everything that you see? Now, knowing about this, can I? Hmm. Let's find out in our lesson today. All right. and salam sejahtera you're watching Didi TV KPM with me Shafika Farahin and today for the whole one hour we are learning first slot Meninga Atas for the um, subject English with our teacher as you can see just now who was Halim, uh, teacher Halimatul Saadia Abdul Raza who is the Ketua Panitia Bahasa Inggeris from SMK Pusat Bandar Puchong 1 Puchong Selangor hi teacher how are you? I'm doing great what That's about great. you? I'm doing great as well and I'm wondering what we're learning today. But before we go on to that, I would like to introduce as well our sign language interpreter who is also in the studio, teacher uh, Fatimatul Zahra Osman from SK Putrajaya Presin 181, Presin 18, Kuala Lumpur. Hi teacher, thank you for being with us today. All right. And uh, um, just to mention quick, uh, just now, uh, Fat, uh, Teacher Fatima Tuzaira Osman is from SK Putrajaya Presin, Presin 18, Putrajaya, sorry for that. Now, we have our pupils online that mm -hmm. who will be joining us as well. Can we have them behind us in the screen? Hello, pupils. How are you? Hi guys! Hi guys! Now, uh, very quickly, uh, teacher, can we introduce them one by one, please? Yes, okay, let's start mm -hmm. with uh, the one at the top left, that's Doshrina. Hi! And then next to her <laughs> is Rinosha. Hi, Rinosha. Hi, hello! And then we have Thivia and Shrinlin. These Welcome. are my super girls. Oh, right, super girls. Nice yes. to have you on our set today. All right, now, uh, about our short gimmick just now, could you mm -hmm. perhaps elaborate on that and perhaps link it to our topic for today? Okay, thank mm -hmm. you very much for that. Yeah. All right, everybody, uh, our lesson for today is a reading lesson. Okay, and uh, our topic or theme is on image. Mm -hmm. So image refers to everything that you see, whether there are pictures of people, animals, and anything that you can see. And we are going to read a text that talks about how images can be manipulated mm -hmm. in certain ways to make something look better or more attractive for all all kinds of purposes. All oh, right. Right. Okay. So we're gonna see if we can really believe what we actually see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. For our lesson, how should we start today? Okay. Today, we are going to first talk about a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too much. All right. About whether if you can believe in everything that you can see. Now, for the pupils at home. What you can see on your television screen now are two questions. That is from the textbook on page 112, part A. So we're going to talk very, very quickly about things that we see, okay, whether it influences or not, mm -hmm. especially when it's related to celebrities. Right. Of course, celebrities are people that's always in front of our faces. Being whether looked at. If, yeah, even whether if we like it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my lovely girls, All right. have a look at the two questions there. Are you influenced by the way celebrities look? And would you change anything about yourself 
to look like a celebrity? Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are the two questions that I want you guys to think about. Okay, and I'm going to see if anyone is brave enough to be the first person to volunteer to respond. If not, I'm going to have to choose. Yes, okay. who would like to volunteer? Right. Raise your hand. Okay. Anyone would like to volunteer to respond? Anyone first? I can uh, see Tivia smiling yes. widely. I think oh, no, she's got an answer there. <laughs> come, okay, on, come on, Tivia. Be the first person to break the ice. All right, let's just pick one. Which question would you like to respond to? Mm -hmm. Just pick one. Uh, I, I, would go, I will go for the question number two. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we shouldn't change ourselves for the celebrity's look because everyone is beautiful just the way we are. Oh, oh, that's, that's a very true. nice answer. That's a very good answer. Thank mm -hmm. you very much for that. Okay, what about you, uh, Shuenlin? Are you influenced in any way by the sub how a celebrity looks like, whether from their hairstyle mm -hmm. or the clothes that they wear? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Or the makeup as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, for makeup, I personally don't wear makeup right now. Um... Am I really influenced? Um, I wouldn't. I would say, in terms of how they style their hair or clothing, yeah, I also take how they style their hair or mm -hmm. how they wear. Yeah, yeah, that or would influence how they you. And themselves, such as confidence, I would take those as an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Usually, um. Whether we like it or not, somehow, mm. because the images of these celebrities, they are in front of our faces, mm -hmm. you know, when we are scrolling our phones or yes. even on mass media, on television, or even on billboards as we are driving, um, sometimes you may not consciously want to um, uh, follow how the way they style their uh, tudung, for example, you yeah. know, I wear a tudung or their hair. Mm -hmm. um, but when you see it looking fashionable and trendy, mm -hmm. all right, you think, hey, why not? Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. so, I agree. Yeah. All okay, right. let's, let's move on to mm -hmm. our next part of the lesson. Okay, before we start reading, um, usually we will look at some of the words that are in the text to help us understand what the text is all about. Okay, so we're okay. going to play a game. Mm -hmm. It's a jumbled up puzzle. I love playing this game all with right. uh, my kids at school. Okay, so now guys, have a look at the screen. There are five words and the letters have been jumbled up. Okay, mm. I want you guys to guess what those words are as quickly as possible. Okay? Yes, I want to invite people at home to join mm. us as well right. for this. You mm -hmm. can try it also, Shafika, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. It would be nice if you can have that tick-tock, tick -tock, Yes, a tick -tick timer actually. Yes, okay. and then Ooh. when the time starts, we go... Is... Ah, so I, made my own, own, <laughs> I made my own sounds. Yeah, these kids, <laughs> they're used to me. I make all kinds of sounds no in wonder. the classroom. Okay. All right. Should we okay, have um, a volunteer again? Any volunteers? Only five words. Yes, only five words. Okay, we have Vinosha. Yes, darling. Which one? The first one, Photoshop. Yes, that's correct. The first mm. one on the top left is Photoshop. Wonderful. Great. What about the one at the top right corner, till bristly? I like to say uh, out this word, it sounds so right. uh, Yes, because it's a alien. jumbled word. Anyone? <laughs> Tease bristly. What about you, Doshrina? Okay, Doshrina, what's the answer? Hmm. Anything from you? Anyone wants to help, Doshrina? Come on, girls. Okay, Tivia, yes. Celebrities. Correct. Celebrities. Celebrities. Yes, celebrities. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the one in the middle? Maybe you want to try that one, Shafika. Oh, me? Yes, All right, I'll do that. I think it stands for photograph. Photograph girl. Do you mm -hmm. think Shafika is correct? Yeah, they're all nodding. Yeah, you got <laughs> okay. that right. Great. Okay, the last two. Yes, we have the two one more. one on the right bottom mm -hmm. corner. Shunling, do you want to try that? I can't really see the words. Oh, yes. Oh. We'll show them on screen. Yes, there you go. Okay, yes. Pula Manishion. <laughs> what do you think it is? Try and relate it to what we have been talking about just now, mm -hmm. about photographs looking a lot better. Okay. 
I think it stands for um, manipulation. Yes. Manipulation. Cool. Great. That's correct. Manipulation. Okay. The last and one. And the last one. Tiklis <laughs> Rialun. Oh, Doshrina putting her hands up. Wonderful. Where is okay. darling? What is it? Unrealistic. Yes, correct. Unrealistic. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have Photoshop, celebrities, photograph, manipulation, right. and unrealistic and these are some of the words mm -hmm. that they are going to find as they read the text later. Okay, great. Okay. Now, uh, Teacher Ima, now that Tivia answered two que uh, two questions and then Venosha and also Xuan Yin, um, would you like to mark them as well? Give I'm them sorry? a reward? Oh, yes, of yes. course. I think today I shall give them all 10 stars for this particular segment. All right, great well job, done, guys. girls, for today. All right, we're going for a short break first. And we'll yes, be right back here on Bahasa Inggeris Slot Menengah Atas on DDTV KPM. KPM. Hi pupils, welcome back to Didi TV KPM for our slot Meninga Atas. Now today we're learning Bahasa Inggris uh, with Tichi Ima. Now Tichi Ima, when yes. we talk about image, which is our topic for today, mm -hmm. um, it depends on what we see, right? And mm -hmm. what we believe in what we see because mm -hmm. our eyes are the first uh, sensory part of our That's body correct, that yes. uh, contributes to our imagination and thoughts. So uh, for this uh, segment, our topic is don't believe everything you see. Mm -hmm. So how do we kick off today's lesson? Okay, mm -hmm. we are going to kick off today's lesson by reading, obviously, because this is a reading activity. Mm -hmm. But what you uh, commented about just now reminded me of uh, a proverb. Mm -hmm. A picture is worth... Can you finish a it for me? A thousand words. That's correct. Mm -hmm. A thousand or even nowadays... Millions, uh, millions of words, <laughs> right? Okay, even though technically there are no millions of words, but still, you know, um, because when we see something, uh, we are triggered either by the color of the hair mm. or the picture of um, trees or even a simple house, right? right? So. Uh, in this particular text that we're going to read, mm -hmm. uh, pupils are going to discover how these images uh, have some kind of influence, not just on um, people who see them, but it can even have some kind of effects. So I'm right. not going to uh, give away too much about it because okay. we're going to read. And as you can see, okay, before we read, um, we are going to get the pupils to have a kind of... Um, background information activated okay so normally before we read the text we should read a question that accompanies the text so that they don't really have to spend too much time reading the text line by line mm -hmm. so if you guys can have a look at the monitor look at question b which is in your textbook on page 112 can you guess what photo manipulation is read the text quickly without paying attention to the missing sentences and check your answers okay so um, when we uh, have a reading lesson mm -hmm. uh, the first reading is usually a kind of a glossing through reading uh, quickly just to get a general idea of what the text is about mm -hmm. without trying to figure out oh my god I don't understand this word a lot of pupils find it a daunting task to read because first of all when they see five or six paragraphs um, they will freeze oh my lord there's a lot to yes. read mm -hmm. and then the moment they start reading and then they see maybe one or two words um, it hinders their want to read you know right. it'll be like oh, if I read some more I'll discover more difficult words mm -hmm. but actually uh, pupils out there um, don't be afraid of reading. It's okay if you don't know all of the words that you read. Chances are, out of the five 
paragraphs or the six paragraphs that you read, maybe in each paragraph there'll be only probably one mm -hmm. or two words the most that you really don't understand. Yeah. And usually these words that you don't know about, they don't um, affect the general understanding or the meaning of the, the whole context of the reading text. Okay. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to read. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So now with that question in mind, pupils, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to repeat the question again. Can you guess what photo manipulation is? So from that question itself, uh, we've already talked about um, some of the words that we looked at in the first segment just now. So bring those information with you when you read the text, okay? Um, I'm not going to ask all of you guys to read everything, don't worry. I'm going to do a jigsaw reading activity where I will divide the paragraphs and I will assign a paragraph to each of my girls at home. Mm -hmm. So there are five paragraphs in uh, the text. So we're going to do the first paragraph together so that the girls and pupils at home will know exactly what to do on your own later. All okay? right. All right. The first paragraph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the whole text. If you can see what's on screen, mm -hmm. okay, there are five paragraphs there. And as you can see again, there are six uh, letters, sorry, six numbers there with a missing sentence. Don't worry about finding out what those sentences are, okay? That's not our mission for this particular uh, activity. You are going to read quickly, okay? Scan the text and try and get the general idea, mm -hmm. okay? Of each paragraph, not the whole text, but for each paragraph. So we're going to do the first paragraph together. Okay. All right, so mm -hmm. this is paragraph one that's on your screen. Okay, so girls, have a look at your textbook on page 112 and just focus on the first paragraph. Okay, I'm gonna, um, normally I don't read aloud, okay, because a reading activity is all about reading. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, but for, uh, for today's for the lesson, of today's yes, lesson. I'm going to read aloud. All right. right. It is well known that most photographs of models and celebrities are an unrealistic portrayal of beauty. Mm -hmm. This is because many of the images have been edited using digital manipulation. Using computer software like Photoshop is so common that the word Photoshop has even entered dictionaries as a verb. The pressure to conform to what the media shows to be beautiful influences people's psychology negatively. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe there will be one or two words that you're not sure of, but in general, you will understand or get the idea that this paragraph tells us that images such as pictures or photographs can be edited using computer mm -hmm. software. This is also known as digital manipulation. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, this is what I want you guys to do. Okay, girls. So Tivia, you're going to do or you're going to read paragraph two. Doshrina is going to read paragraph three. Xuanlin, you're going to read paragraph four. And Vinosha, you're going to read paragraph five. All right. A very short paragraph. I don't think you guys will take such a long time to do it. Try and get the general idea of your own paragraphs mm -hmm. and we'll regroup and share uh, the, I, the com com complete idea of the text, okay? Oh, All right, right. Girls, off you go. Okay, we're giving the pupils a minute yes, or two. Yes, yeah, to a minute or two. Yeah, and because get a rough it, idea. I mean, as you can see just now, it mm -hmm. only took me, I don't know, less than a minute yes. to read the paragraph. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as these girls are reading their paragraphs, mm -hmm. um, they need to try and figure out what is the idea or the main idea of that particular paragraph that they are reading. Right. Um, uh, reading in this way helps a lot of pupils mm -hmm. because if I ask you to read a 10 paragraph essay, would you be interested to read it? I would get a bit bored along the way yes, as we go. Yes, yes mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. So what more with pupils? Of so course. that's why when we do this kind of activity which is called jigsaw reading, mm -hmm. we assign certain parts of the text or the whole text to a particular pupil or in a classroom it will right. be a group. It ah. will be in a group setting and they will report back 
to each other so everyone knows or has an idea. Yes, uh, for, okay. for people watching as well, uh, we're referring to textbooks English uh, for page 112. Yes, that's correct. For this paragraph uh, for you to read. Now, um, one more thing. Um, I, I believe those who are reading a paragraph, do, do you think they should write down the words that they don't understand and perhaps later can check what yes. they mean? Yes, That yes. would help of as well. Of course, that will help as well. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, for me, I would encourage the pupils to either check by themselves using the dictionary or right. actually you can guess the meaning from the contextual clues within ah. the text itself right. uh, which we are going to do later on in the third segment okay all right all right to seem like you guys are ready uh-huh okay can you give a bit of a thumbs up to show you're ready okay ah, cool okay. right cool. so let's start with tivia this Second paragraph, so yes. what do you get out of it, the gist of the second paragraph? Um, photography, nowadays photography is exactly like the editing that, that we did uh, in our old days. But now I think uh, according to this paragraph is that with the photography we can edit it like um, we, can, we don't have to use the paintbrush mm -hmm. or anything, but then we can use the software that is developed yes. by man made by man to tilt the photo or yeah. by Correct. editing the brightness, the filter. Mm -hmm. Good. Wonderful, mm -hmm. you got it right. Yay! Even though it's not exactly the same as what uh, I am suggesting in um, the response. So mm -hmm. if you look at screen on screen, uh, paragraph two tells us about uh, photo manipulation is not a new concept. And if you mentioned about the software, software technology, so almost anything is possible. Well done, Tivia, you got it right. Good okay, job. Good job. All, All right. right, what about you, uh, Doshrina, the third paragraph? Okay, so um, photo manipulation, it makes us look slimmer and then um, it makes us look better. Okay. So, um, so they, ask, they are telling that it's, it is not acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, you got it right too. Even though it's not the same thing as what I have, um, uh, I, what I'm going to share. So yeah. if you have a look at the screen now, in paragraph three, as what Joshina has mentioned, it's all about how far can you go with photo manipulation. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, what I have shared here is that editing photos is acceptable to a certain extent. Right. Because different people have different opinions about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Good job. Okay. So paragraph four, Shunlin. So paragraph four is about the effect of photo manipulation. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else so, you want to do? Paragraph 3 also mentioned that is uh, photo manipulation is harmless to a certain extent mm -hmm. where um, example girls they yep. cut their hair okay. such, a, uh, <laughs> such as a famous celebrity right. but um, photo manipulation also they also sort of make it make young mm -hmm. people insecure yes that's correct yes mm -hmm. that's right they consider to change their facial feature mm -hmm. in order to convert to the beauty standard yeah. which is actually not real because the photo is manipulated mm -hmm. that's wonderful right. i love what you said just yes. now good choice beauty of words. standards yes very mm -hmm. good choice of words okay so as you can see um, she got it, she nailed it, even though it's not in the same words as I did. Yeah. All right. Paragraph 4 tells us that photo manipulation has effects on people. And some effects can be harmful and even dangerous. She even used the word harmless, which is opposite to harmful. Yeah. Uh, but she was saying that certain, you know, little bit of changes is okay, but if it's too much... Yes, it could be right. dangerous. Yes. Last but not least, All right. we have Vinosha. Yay! Paragraph 5. Um, based on paragraph 5, um, I got to know that some celebrities also stand against photoshopping because it shows how fake uh, we look on media due to photographing and photoshopping. Okay. By editing our pictures, we look so fake on media. Mm. All right. Wonderful. 
Thank you. Good job. You got it right too. Okay. Right. So finally, the last paragraph mm -hmm. tells us that it's not acceptable. Photo manipulation is not acceptable if it's done at an extreme level. Okay. And what's better? Natural beauty, inner beauty. That beauty will be manifested in your whole personality so right. you don't really need to photoshop your pictures i know people like to use a lot of filters mm -hmm. on all kinds of applications nowadays yes but be yourself be your beautiful self and it will be out there on your faces i okay. totally agree it's not all just right. harmful and dangerous okay. to people watching it's also harmful and dangerous to themselves who did yes. uses the filters okay mm -hmm. all, right, all right let's move on to our next activity which is activity c in your textbook well done girls so now you all know that the whole paragraph i'm sorry the whole text is all about how photo manipulation has effects on people mm -hmm. to what extent should it be taken to and now your job girls and pupils at home is to complete or try to complete activity c okay which is filling in the gaps in the five paragraphs in the text okay so read the instructions all right mm -hmm. there are six i'm sorry there are seven sentences given to you from a to g all right and one sentence does not really correlate or doesn't really match to the text okay girls try and match or try and fill in this is this activity is called the gap text and it's not really that that difficult actually mm -hmm. what you need to do is uh, read each sentences that are given to you the seven sentences given they already have an idea uh, what the text is about all right and go to each paragraph and look at the sentences before and after the gap text okay i will talk a little bit more about gap text later at the end of our lesson in the last segment all okay. right so but the tip is look at the sentence before mm -hmm. okay and look at the sentence after and think about the idea sometimes it's a very straightforward mm -hmm. uh, response right sometimes it's a little bit uh, tricky but most of the time it's quite easy Okay. Right, so there's right. two tasks here, right? Completing the gaps and knowing which extra sentence is not needed. Yes. All right, okay. okay. I think the girls are ready. Yes, let's yes. have them. Uh, wonderful. Giving their answers. Who's okay. ready? All right. Anyone? Wants okay. to start? Okay. Who's first? Or volunteer for number one. Okay, good. Dashrina, what's your response? What's your answer? A, B, C, D, E, F, or G? G. Yes. Mm. Yahoo. 10 stars for you or 10 kisses. Wow. You can redeem them at school later. Okay. okay. Good job. Next, number two. Anyone would like to try? Yeah, Vinosha? What's the answer for number two? A. Yes, correct again. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, let's move on to number three. We are on fire. Thivia, yes, darling. Uh, number three is B. Correct. Okay. Yay. I told you they are my super girls. <laughs> Next super girl for number four. Shuen Lin. Yes. What's the answer for number four, Shuen Lin? A. I'm sure you get it right. I think she's still thinking there. Anyone wants to help Shuen Lin for this? Yes. Can we have... Okay, Doshrina. A friend helping out. Number four is F. Yes, that's correct. Yes, yes yeah, yeah. She's not in. She got it. Yeah. Okay. She just needs to be sure of herself. Okay. Of course. Number five. Anyone for number five? Okay, Vinosha. Number five is C. Yes, that's correct, C. And let's get it all 100% for number six. So, what's the answer for number six? Mm -hmm. Yes, Divya. Number six is E. Yes, that's correct. Everybody, please give yourselves a, a round, round of applause. applause. Because this is not 
really an easy task. It's not as simple as, as reading a question mm -hmm. and finding the answer in the paragraph. This requires quite a little bit of an extra skill and we'll talk more about that later. I've already given some tips but I'll repeat myself again later just to remind ourselves, okay? Yes. Good job everybody. I am so proud of mm -hmm. you guys. For the right. efforts. Uh, yes. Ma, how okay. many stars or marks would you give oh, them? Oh, for this particular part, mm -hmm. 20 stars for each of them Good plus job. one. Uh, 20 infinity. stars. Actually, an infinity. All right. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. We have more to come, so stay tuned on DD TV KPM. We'll be right back. KPM. Hello friends, welcome back to Didi TV KPM and welcome back to class as well. We're here with teacher Ima for our lesson today, Bahasa Ingris. Now our topic is image and for this segment, our title is The Unwanted Pair. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Is it a wrong or displaced dynamic duo or Ooh. something else? <laughs> something else. Mm. Not as exciting as that, I'm afraid. <laughs> because this is a lesson and ah. it's a language lesson. Uh, it, uh, I labelled it as the unwanted pair simply because uh, the kids or the pupils at home, they mm -hmm. will be given eight um, not words, I'm sorry, eight meanings, okay, phrases or sentences, mm -hmm. which they will have to match to the six words uh, that are actually highlighted in the reading text. If you notice just now, if you are looking at your textbooks, okay, the words that are highlighted in yellow are the words that you need to guess the meaning to. Oh. So they, they've given you eight meanings, okay, so we are only going to match it to six words. That's why it's the unwanted pair. Yes, okay. and if you're wondering, it's textbook page 112 yes, 112, and 113. Right. So okay. after having gone through the reading itself mm -hmm. and looking at the main idea and also going into detail into the, each paragraph and doing the gap text activity, a pupil should be able to guess the meaning of the six words given Okay. All right. Um, based on the contextual clues and also their own understanding. Okay. So we all know we are talking about mani photo manipulation. Okay. And the six words are conform, take off, bend the truth, rebel, appreciate, and disapprove. Okay. All right, girls. So I think they know what you have to do. You are going to match the highlighted words which are in the text to the meanings that are given to you. There are eight meanings there, okay? Mm -hmm. So I don't think we are going to spend too much time on this because, uh, like I said just now, the pupils already have an idea yes. of what it means, mm -hmm. okay? So from A to H, change something so that it's not exactly true, make something illegal, recognize somebody's or something's value, think that somebody or something's not good, mm -hmm. follow other people's rules or ideas, to show or reveal, fight against and become successful suddenly. Right. Okay? Are they ready to yeah, answer this? Yeah, the girls are ready. Mm -hmm. yes, it's not that difficult, is it? Maybe some of the words or even the phrase, right. uh, they are already aware of what it means. Okay, so that's an added bonus. Uh, for pupils to complete this activity. Yes. Okay. This if, also gives them uh, actually mm -hmm. extra ideas on the yes. words, creative words they can use in a yes. text. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not just understanding the words, but these are words and phrases that they can take with them and use when they are writing their essays. Yes. Okay. Heavily so. All right. So again, mm -hmm. to figure out the meaning without using a dictionary, you try and guess based on the contextual clues which refers to the context in that particular paragraph. So look at the sentence before, look at the sentence after, and then you try and figure out is it a noun or a verb, okay? I think the girls are ready. All right. Yes, they They've are. waited for okay, it. Okay, so let's start with the first three. Okay. All right, which is on screen. 
Conform, take off and bend the truth. Bend the truth is actually a phrase and even take off is a phrase. Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody? Any takers for number one? Conform. Doshrina, yay. Okay. And the answer for it is E. Follow other people's rules or ideas. Okay, yes, that's mm -hmm. correct. To conform means you just follow. Okay, maybe you don't really want to think about it. So you follow to conform. Mm -hmm. Okay, meaning just ikut saja lah. Just follow. Okay? Mm, okay. Well done. Next, take off. Anybody? Vinosha? Uh, the, the answer for number two is H. Become successful. Suddenly. Yes, that's correct. Great. Okay. We're still on fire. Number three. Bend the truth. Okay. Tivia's hand was up first. After okay. this, it's you, Shrindi. Okay, uh, Tivia. Bend the truth. A. Yes. Change Chase something. Things. Yes, that's correct. Mm. It's still true, but not exactly true. Right. Bend the truth. All right. Shirin Lee, number four. Um, for number four, the answer is G. Fight against. Yes, you fight against some things. You rebel against mm -hmm. something. Okay. Wonderful. Number five. Doshina again. Come on, darling. Uh, appreciate C. Recognize somebody's or yes. something. Value. That's correct, and I really appreciate you guys being here with me today. Mm -hmm. And the last one, disapprove. Anybody? Okay, Vinosha. Uh, B. Think think that somebody or something is not good. That's correct. Wonderful okay. again, girls. You guys are awesome. We have got it all right. Yes. Thirty stars for everybody. Thirty stars. Wow, you're giving out marks like it's like so easy. Because they deserve it. Because yes. they're awesome. Okay, through this activity, I also uh, improved my vocabulary as well. Mm -hmm. Now we're going for a short break as usual, and we'll be right back here on Did It TV KPM. KPM. Okay, you're still tuned to Didi TV KPM, and today we are learning English with our teacher Ima today uh, in the studio. Now, for our segment, we are going to have the title, What Say You? It's not exactly a question that we're going to ask, mm -hmm. but we're going to focus on another thing, which is Teacher Ima. Yes, mm -hmm. in this particular segment, the pupils are going to respond to two questions, which is in Part E in your textbook, Activity E, if you look at your textbook on page 113, you are going to discuss, give your personal opinion, your ideas, your thoughts, even your beliefs actually, if you have a strong feeling or thoughts about it, for our discussion activity. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, on screen, uh, we have the complete uh, reading text again, all right? So you guys can refer to the text if you want to, to help give you ideas for the discussion, okay? Mm -hmm. So, what say you, right girls? Wow. What do you want to say? This is your chance, all right, to <gasps> lash out their opinions. Yes, if they want to lash out, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have two questions here. Do you think photo manipulation is wrong? Why? Okay. Why not? So this is a kind of a higher level, higher order thinking skill. And uh, you need to practice these kinds of questions because in the SPM speaking mm -hmm. uh, examination, you will be asked questions where you have to hmm, think about it and come up with a response and preferably with some kind of elaboration mm -hmm. or point of view. Right. Okay, girls? Okay. Right. And the next question is, do you think you will look at pictures of celebrities differently after reading this text? Mm. I like this question a lot. Yes, right? I have my own thoughts as well Yes, here. exactly. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from mm -hmm. the girls actually. All um, right. And I've uh, put in the two pictures uh, on the slide as you mm -hmm. can see, which is from the text. Mm -hmm. A picture of the girl, all right? Yeah. Uh, in my That's opinion, one the girl. one girl. Yeah, on the left she still looks 
you know, okay. She looks great. Yeah, she looks great. Mm-hmm. Maybe if she smiles, it'll look a bit better. But yeah. I mean, because I'm a smiley person. <laughs> right. But she looks okay, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. All right. But then after some um, manipulation has been done on her picture, not herself, but on her picture. Right. Um, it turns into what's on the right side. Okay. Mm-hmm. So think okay. about it, girls. All right. All right. While think, they are thinking, yes. um, oh. it is important to note that this is a reading uh, skill that we're emphasizing on, right? Yes, we are emphasizing in this particular lesson, we are emphasizing on the reading skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why we spent quite a bit of time just now, not just a reading for main idea or gist, but we also looked at reading for specific details when we did the gap text activity. And we even looked at uh, how we can guess meaning of words from contextual clues. So these are the skills that pupils need to learn when they are reading. Okay, mm-hmm. so because nowadays you need to not only simply read, but you need to have a deeper understanding of what the text is all about. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay, and this particular activity in our last segment is all about them speaking out because speaking is a complementary skill in this particular lesson. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. Yes. So, so, are the girls yes. ready? Yes, I can see Thivia smiling. Uh-huh. She looks like she can't wait to go. <laughs> ready to go. Okay, okay. Thivia, yes. Let's have you responding to both questions mm-hmm. as possible. All right. Off you go. Um, um, for question number one, mm-hmm. uh, what was the question again, <laughs> Do you think photo manipulation is wrong? What do you think? Why or why not? I think the photo manipulation is strong because we all have a natural look. God has given us a, it's a gift actually. We all have our different look on our face. If we use photo manipulation to change our face, then we are, we are having a fake face and we are going to fake people. We're gonna, mm. we, we, are ha- we are losing the self-confidence. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you okay. very much. I all like right. that answer. So for you, it's a straight... It's no. wrong. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what about Shirlene? What do you think? For the first or second question? For the first question. First we'll question. go back to the second question later. Okay. Um, are we going to the first or second question? First, the first. one. Can you just now, photo? Uh, Tivia says mm-hmm. no. No photo manipulation at all. What about you? Yes or um, no? I personally think photo manipulation brings more harm than benefit. Mm-hmm. Um, because it as Divya says, can impact our self-confidence mm-hmm. and we should appreciate our features as how we are born with. So it's a straight no for you also? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what about question two? How would you respond to that? Will you look at different pictures of celebrities differently? Um, yes. After discovering more about photo manipulation, I realized that celebrities, they are also human beings like us. It's just mm-hmm. their job scope require them to be on screen and to confirm to a certain standard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Yes. I like it. You used the word conform just now. Mm-hmm. Wonderful, Shrin Lin. All right. So, Divya, let's get back to you to finish off your task. Yes, what about second you? Second question. Second question. Um, I won't look them differently, although after the reading the text, mm-hmm. because uh, I don't know because they all have they were their their face and their the shape of their face. They will look they will look so cute in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> maybe without the photo manipulation, maybe they look different. Then I won't be watching the movie. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I won't I won't look different on on my. On the person I have, okay, and who's a fan of them. All right, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I, I like that thought. Yes, mm-hmm. so, uh, and it goes back to what Shirley said just now, uh, which was um, because of their of their status as a celebrity, they right. had they do need to have that kind of look. Yes. And even though they are, of course, just like us, normal human beings, but mm-hmm. for performance, maybe they do need to have certain standards to conform yes. to. Yes, right? they are being judged constantly. We yes, have to remember that as well. True. Mm-hmm. I see Doshrina nodding as I was talking just now. Yes, so it's let's your go turn. to my darling Doshrina for you to give us your thoughts on the two questions. Okay. So let's start with the first one. Do uh, you think the yeah. manipulation is wrong? Mm hmm. I mean, I think it is wrong, sorry. Okay. I think it is wrong because um, 
uh, they are only doing this because they are insecure, mm-hmm. right? So, but, and then they also make others to feel insecure as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think like everybody is imperfect, and that is what makes them beautiful. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what's yes. right? Wrong. Mm-hmm. All right. How about your think, second question? Okay. Um, I think um, I will look differently. Mm-hmm. I will look differently because. Um, maybe it is because like they look different in real life, and mm-hmm. then in here you see you, they look so different, and you feel a bit like maybe they shouldn't be doing it and all that, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Joshina. Mm-hmm. I really like uh, your second, your last statement to the first question, which was um, nobody's perfect. Yes. Okay, uh, we are all imperfect, but that's. The beauty of mm-hmm. life, and that's what we need to recognize in ourselves. Uh, yes. Especially a message not just to my beautiful girls, but to all the beautiful people out there. Mm-hmm. We are who we are. Accept it, embrace it, love ourselves. Yeah. Because we are all beautiful. Okay. All right. All right. Last but not least, mm-hmm. let's hear it from. I eh? don't think I forgotten about you. Okay, Vinosha. Vinosha, <laughs> your turn. Okay, it's your turn for the two questions. Take it away. I think uh, photo manipulation is wrong uh, because we are not taking the opportunity to reveal our the real uh, the real us. Mm-hmm. And we're not embracing the real beauty of us. Okay. By you doing photo manipulation. Right. Very nice answer. Wonderful. What about the second one? Uh, I won't look at the celebrities differently because it's their profession mm-hmm. and it's their opinions to to do do or not do photo manipulation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's each other's opinion. Yes. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Agreed. I really like that, especially. Well, what about you? What about you uh, personally? You're a celebrity yourself, um, Shafika. Uh, she says that mm-hmm. it's up to the personality, the celebrity, it's right. uh, herself or himself. What do you think? Yes, I believe sometimes people uh, feel uncomfortable with how they look. Uh, they are being judged for it. Mm-hmm. So uh, perhaps if, if it makes them happy, then why not? Uh, but uh, of course, it's to a certain extent, yes. not too much. Everything yeah. has to be moderate in yes, moderation. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Everything has to be done in moderation. Yeah. Wonderful. So now, yes. for their wonderful answers, how much yes. would you rate them or give them? Okay, because mm-hmm. speaking is, in my opinion, one of the toughest skill for any kind of pupil. Even proficient pupils uh, always get a bit nervous when I bring in my ice cream sticks. I have my ice cream sticks which I use in my classroom. I'll bring it in. Yeah, Doshi, nice laughing. Case you remember it, and I'll shake it, tick, 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 and be like, oh. Okay, so um, they did awesome they are wonderful and their answers are very mature yes they did really well 100 points for everybody wow too much points i've given given out but you guys are deserve it now yes they deserve for it. their overall performance as well mm-hmm. for all the questions you've um, given them today how much would you give them mm-hmm. to be honest um you can't really quantify uh, an achievement because right. even the smallest achievement uh, is big for someone. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe for Xuan Lin, answering a simple question is good enough. But for someone else, the question, the answer that she has, mm-hmm. which is the same as hers, uh, it would take her a few times reading the text to get mm-hmm. it. So for me, I, I wouldn't quantify because right. they are they have tried their best and mm-hmm. they have given their best. Yes. Okay. Would you say they did a great job? Oh, of course, uh-huh. definitely awesome. Okay, okay. great. And, but before we end our lesson for yes. today, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, I would just like to highlight at the screen, just for pupils to have a look. Uh, we're not going to do this activity, no. Mm-hmm. Um, this is, uh, I just want to highlight this because I think pupils need to be reminded time and again. Okay. okay this is part four of the reading and use of English examination paper, paper one. And it's the gap text activity, which they completed in the second segment just now. Ah, okay. okay. The techniques is the same. Read the text, uh, scan it first, quickly get a general idea, and then only you go to the answers to try and match into each paragraph. All right, now, teacher Ima, as we approach the end of today's lesson, uh, where can pupils at home who's watching right now um, access to make more revisions? Where else but at Portal 
Delima. All right, and there yes. you go. Uh, don't forget to do your revisions, okay? All right, Tijima, thank you for being with us here in the studio and sharing all your knowledge and lessons for today. I had so much fun and I learned so much things today. And also not to forget our sign language interpreter, teacher Fatima Tul Zahra. Thank you for being with us today. And for you guys watching, thank you for watching and stay tuned. More on Diri TV after this. We'll be uh, having more uh, classes as well. Now, until we meet again, Assalamualaikum, Salam Sejahtera. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining us today.